Hello, this is Cole with Trimble Support. Today's video will cover some troubleshooting steps you can take when experiencing issues loading VCL designs into an Earthworks system. Since version 2.0, Earthworks has supported directly loading designs with a .vcl file extension to allow for line work, points, layer management, reference surfaces, and toggling between multiple surfaces, all from a single design file. While this has clear benefits over legacy file formats, the increased complexity of a VCL design can make it more difficult to troubleshoot when issues occur. One of the most common issues you will encounter in Earthworks when loading a VCL design is an error along the lines of unsupported objects in selected surface, failed to retrieve design, or design load failed, design or line work error. In order to load the file, Earthworks uses a VCL library which determines what objects it is able to load. When objects or data are included in the VCL that are not contained within the VCL library referenced by Earthworks, then that can cause these design loading errors. Earthworks uses a proprietary VCL library, which is different from the ones used by TVC and SiteWorks, which can often explain differences in object support between platforms. Another potential cause of these errors is a failure in the data prep process of creating the design, where bad data is exported, for example, surfaces with intersecting brake lines or overlapping polygons, lines with zero length, or overlapping line loops. When this occurs, you may be able to fix the design using TVC. If you have the original TBC project used to create the design available to you, that should be used. If that isn't available, the VCL can be re-imported into TBC. With the design in TBC, open the Selection Explorer, then select all the design data. Scroll through the Selection Explorer, and if you see data such as CAD Block Reference or CAD Solid, highlight those items in the Selection Explorer list and either delete them or transfer them to a new layer that you won't include in the design export. Next, whether you deleted such objects or not, open the Project Cleanup command under the Takeoff ribbon tab. You can try running the command with all the available selections enabled, but some of the most important settings to check are remove zero length and fragment lines, remove duplicate lines, remove overlapping line loops, join lines with small gaps, overlaps and misalignments, and remove hatch objects. Click Apply to run the command. This will resolve errors in your data based on the settings entered in the command. The most common data issues we see this fix that specifically cause problems in Earthworks are zero length lines. However, other problems with data that would be solved with this command can also cause design loading errors. As best practice, we recommend running the project cleanup command in TBC as a preventative measure before publishing VCL designs and only selecting data which is needed for the design. Another best practice is to always use the create works manager design command to generate the VCL rather than using the VCL project link exporter. The project link exporter is intended for data transfer between TBC projects, and while it may work with field devices, it includes a greater amount of data and is more likely to cause design loading or operation issues with both Earthworks and SiteWorks. Once the problem VCL design has been cleaned up in TBC, either publish the new version to Works Manager or export it to USB, whichever method you prefer to use, and load it into the machine to test the design out. After following the previous steps, it should now be able to load on the machine successfully.